Let's talk a little bit about the NASDAQ. Here's what you need to know before the bell. The NASDAQ has been on fire this year, of course, rising sharply with the top 10 stocks making up about 80% of the return of the S&P this year. Pretty amazing, of course, after last year, well, NASDAQ and FANG stocks were dead. That was the headlines back in November when I asked that question, are they? Well, apparently they weren't because this year, NASDAQ up sharply from those October lows. We've gone from about 260 on the, on the Qs up to about 317, so a 30% advance so far, basically for the NASDAQ. And this just puts the market well ahead of the S&P. In fact, this year, the S&P is up about 7% for the year, give or take. It would only be up 2% without those NASDAQ stocks pushing the S&P 500 higher. So that big return in the NASDAQ has certainly been a welcome relief to a lot of people invested in tech stocks. The question is, has it gone too far at this point? Well, yesterday we sold off our Q's holding that we had in our portfolios because of the fact of two things. One, this rally has been very sharp here uh, since the beginning of this year. That trend is still bullish, nothing wrong with it right now. So again, I would expect NASDAQ to move a bit higher here, but as we start to move into earnings season, expectations are rather lofty for technology stocks. Profit margins are expected to expand by 140 basis points this year. That would put it at an all-time high, and expectation for earnings continue to outpace the rest of the markets. Now, the question becomes, since these technology stocks depend so much on consumer spending, you know, think about Apple selling MacBooks, et cetera, Twitter, Microsoft, all these companies depend on consumers to buy stuff. Well, where's that money going to come from that is helping support those sales from 2020, 2021? Those $5 trillion worth of checks to households, those are no longer available. So where's that additional spending power going to come from to help support and meet these expectations that we have for a lot of the stocks in the NASDAQ? That's the question we've got to answer. But one of the reasons that we sold off our position yesterday is we're very close to triggering a MACD sell signal here from a fairly high level. Historically, when we get these sell signals, that has led to a correction in the NASDAQ to some degree, and that'll give us a better buying opportunity to add exposure back into these tech stocks in our portfolios. You know, right now we do own Apple and Microsoft, Google and Amazon. We want to add to those positions on a pullback here. So again, reducing a little bit of exposure here just to give us some room cash wise to take advantage of a market correction when and if we get one. And again, with that sell signal very close, I would expect this rotation, at least in the short term, from technology stocks, which have been leading the charge this year by a large margin. They're very overbought relative to the rest of the market seeing a rotation from technology back into some of the laggards of the markets this year won't be surprising. And again, that'll give us a position and an opportunity to rebalance our portfolios accordingly. NASDAQ a little bit expensive right now. Optimism very high. Maybe trim it back just a little bit, take a little bit of profits. But I'm your host, Lance Roberts, and that's what you need to know before the bell.